I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. Not everything is so clear-cut as dark side or light side. They may be onto something. I'm with you on the sentiment, but I wouldn't be so quick to subscribe to their ideologies. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. I hope you know what you're doing working with the enemy like this. An SIS operative, no less. After what Arcus has done, after betraying me, the Empire, I'm not eager to trust anyone. I still believe Theron Shan will make a fine ally. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? I think I'm starting to warm up to you, Lana. Is that right? You should know that the feeling's mutual. I have to go now. There's much yet to uncover about the Revanites' plans and the formation of this infinite army of theirs. I'll be thinking of you. Glad to see you again, as always, but I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force, a sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance, Revanites working against us from within. I found a few. I should like to visit these Revanites. Tell me who they are, so I might destroy them. Tempting. But we need them alive and undisturbed if we're to maintain our strategic edge. Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revanites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Shan's goals may be aligned with ours at the moment, but you need to watch how much you share with him. I've not forgotten he's with the SIS, but that doesn't mean he isn't useful. Theron's tracked Arcus and Colonel Darok to a base on Ricarda Prime. They're building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Starforge. The Starforge? Tell me what you know about it. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revanites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revanites' full control. We need to learn how they accomplished this. It could prove useful to us. Indeed, it could. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planet site. The sooner we depart for Rakata Prime, the better. Jakara, D4. <laughs> Jakara! Bay at least a modicum of respect. Hey, we're set to move on the Temple of the Ancients when you are. That's the traitor's base of operations? Yeah, the Ricotta designed the Star Forge in that temple thousands of years ago. Now it's Argus and Derek's grunt factory. Theron and I will be monitoring your progress from Jakaro's ship. We'll assist you as we can, keep you apprised of matters. <laughs> you what? Jakaro, I agree to no such thing. Wait, was this the talk with Agent Shad you powered me down for? I should warn you, it's a rough road to the temple. The area's lousy with tribal Rakadans more than happy to fight. Found that out the hard way. Wonderful! We're all going to die! Wonderful! Remain focused and all will be well. I'm sure of it. We'll be in touch soon. It's not working out like we planned. We'll have to head along the beach and straight through Rakata Central. Sorry.
Somewhere near you, they've discovered a hidden store of Rakata weapons. See that they don't get the chance to use them. They're further along with production than we suspected. That's it, we're in. Theron? Okay, according to the structural plans, the only way to get at the head Revenites is through that conscription center. The cyborgs are dormant for now, but they're set to go on high alert once they detect you. The console overload will fry them from the inside. <sighs> nope. Can't work the power safeties from here. You'll have to do the honors. A sound plan. Theron, why can't I get this sensor to work? Because Jakaro isn't a big fan of upkeep. Probably a dead relay. I'll check it out. Now that he's gone, might I recommend not doing as Theron suggests? An overload would destroy the data as well. The Empire might want its own infinite army someday. You would have to fight those cyborgs, but... There goes any concern of you getting too cozy with the Republic spy. Make no mistake, I serve the Empire. As do I. We'll do this your way. Hey, hey, what happened? Why is the console still running? We couldn't make it work. The room will have to be traversed the hard way. Are you sure? What did you try? Everything. If you say so. Hey, those sensor relays were fine, by the way. Not sure what the problem is. Was. The sensor appears to be working again. We're seeing movement on the temple roof. Might be Derek and Arcus trying to make an escape. Looks like they've got a shuttle. We can shoot it down if we have to, but I'd rather take them in for questioning if you can. Hurry! <laughs> still wishes to confront the men who betrayed him and left us for dead. As would I, actually. Come on. What's the matter, Arcus? Shuttle not ready yet. We Revenites went through a great deal of trouble to reach this point in our campaign. For you to hamper our progress... It's regrettable. 
You, Lana. You were never anything more than pawns to us. Important pawns, but pawns all the same. I'm appalled that a worm such as you was ever deemed my equal. Insults? Oh, it's no surprise that's all you're capable of. <coughs> this grotesque alien beast does have it partly figured out. Indeed, I won't cooperate, but I'm not fleeing. We will stand our ground and put an end to your perpetual interruption, Colonel. If you could see what we were doing, what we want for the galaxy, but you can't see, you'll just have to die. this here and now I can't wait Arcus and Derek were never going to be taken alive. They were never going to talk. I felt Darth Arcus's passing. This is an unfortunate turn. Yes, you did. What a relief. Blast it, those two were running a show. They were our best hope of exposing the Revenites. No, they weren't in charge. The disturbance in the Force, I still feel it. It's arrived. Got company, ships, capital sized, whole bunch of them. Can't tell if they're yours or ours, but one of them's dropping in to visit. As important as Arcus and Derek were to the cause, their deaths won't stop us. They won't even slow us down. That voice. I've heard it before. It's Revan. I almost had the infinite army I wanted so badly. But even without them, I have enough. If you think you can take on the Empire, you're in for a rude awakening. I know all about rude awakenings. I won't suffer one again. I've been reborn. 
My mind is clearer, my power intensified, and now, with the order under my command, I'm unstoppable. You're telling me the Revanites weren't always under your control? At first, I wanted nothing to do with them. I was no prophet. Then I saw them in a new light. A secret group of devotees waiting to follow my lead without question, to help me save the galaxy. I was a fool to ever disregard them. I finally let the Revanites into my world. A world you have to be erased from. Turbo lasers are locking on! Get out of there! You made it. The way Revan was laying waste to that place, I wasn't sure you'd come out of it in one piece. What are you talking about? I'm hardly in one piece. <coughs> anyway, my point is, I'm glad you got out of there. Any ally right now is a welcome ally. We took care of Arcus, Derek, and their infinite army. But where does that leave us? It's a good question. Now that we know Revan's in the picture, everything changes. For the worse. In fact, it's already started. Whatever do you mean? I'll fill you in, D4. Come on, Jakara. Let's give him a chance to talk. Lana, when you're done, we can start picking out backwaters to go lie low in. Some good news. I was able to extract a good amount of data from the Infinite Army Conscription Console. Unfortunately, we can't possibly hand it over to our Imperial colleagues. The Revanites have just proven they're everywhere. Jakara's had twelve death sentences declared on him. Theron's been disavowed by the SIS. And the Empire's placed a bounty on my head for the murder of Darth Arcus. We need to put a stop to the Order, and we need to do it now. You'll get no argument from me. In fact, Theron and I have been discussing the best way to go about it. The way forward is clear. Theron, Jakaro, and I are going underground. We'll find a way to uncover Revan's plan and stop him. Three fugitives on the run against a vast conspiracy that spans two galactic powers. Have you lost your mind? I am as lucid as ever, and I say we can. You'll have your own role to play in this, of course. The Dark Council is short one member, and may yet be further compromised. They need you. Be who you are, but be observant, and tell no one the truth about us or what you know. Above all, do not try to contact me. Make this plan work, Lana. I'll do everything in my power. All our fates ultimately rest in your hands. Remember that. <laughs> 